I felt God was I felt God was calling me to start a new media work. And that is like, go on TV. Like he said, we're on TVN now. Start making films. This is something I've not done before. Start from scratch. Start training people. Start a center. And uh, so over the years, I've always had this challenge of starting something from nothing and uh, seeing God lead me to where we can see it materialize. What are the things I have learned? And that's what I want to share with you tonight. Uh, I want to use the story of Nehemiah. If you have your Bible there, the story of Nehemiah. Nehemiah had to start something from nothing. If you know the story of Nehemiah, he was, a, he was working for the government and then he got a vision. Or rather, he got the news because sometimes when you say vision, you think of an angel appearing. But in his case, he got the news of how the wall has broken down in Jerusalem. Le mur était cassé. Uh, le, le, la ville de Jerusalem était détruite. Et puis les gens étaient rendus. How do you say now? They were scattered, uh, uh, dispersed. And uh, he was troubled. He was troubled. Nehemiah was troubled when you read chapter one. He had this news. The news troubled him. And when this news troubled him, he started to pray. And as he prayed, a vision formed. And from this vision, something was done that was remarkable. It was a work of rebuilding the world. Nobody had thought of this kind of work before. He didn't see anybody else rebuilding walls, but God gave him a work to do. He needed money, he needed people, he needed favor. There was a lot of things he needed. Some of you are sitting there today. You need a lot of things to even make what you want to do work. And it can be very overwhelming. Uh, it's easier sometimes to get into a bus that is already moving, uh, a train that has already continued to move than to push it to start it. But Nehemiah had the job of starting and he succeeded. And as God helped Nehemiah to succeed, God can help you also to succeed. So what are the things I've learned? Number one thing that I've learned is to ask myself before I start something, what has God told me to do? It's very important. C'est très important de commencer avec une vision claire. Uh, I, I sometimes don't want to use the word vision because I don't want to make it sound too spiritual, but let me explain it like this. Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 12. Look at Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 12. If you go there, if you have your Bible, and this is what Nehemiah says there. He says that what God has put in my heart to do. Uh, uh, this is, uh, I'm reading out the ESV version. And he says there, he was talking, he says, I rose up in the night and I had a few men with me and I told no one. Listen, I told no one what God had put into my heart to do for Jerusalem. That word struck me when I was a very young man, like I think I was 19 or 18 or 20. And that was having to do with things that were coming to my heart to do. That actually God puts things into our heart to do. It might come through people like his own came through the news. Somebody told him that's what sparked this thing. It might be somebody telling you, oh, why don't you try this? But you will know whether it's in your heart by the way it resonates with your heart. So I want to ask you a question. You that say you want to start something where you are, are you doing it because of ICMDA? Or has God put something in your heart? Esco to work here in Canada or n'importe où, c'est que tu pense à faire par rapport à l'association des docteurs des médecins est-ce que ça cause de quelqu'un d'autre ou bien est-ce que c'est dans ton cœur à faire ça this is so important in fact this point i cannot i cannot you know it's it's, it's so important this is the la racine this is the place that the work is born i ask myself anytime i want to start something qu'est-ce que Dieu a mis dans mon cœur à faire but how does it come? Some of you might say, oh, but me, I don't know what God has put in my heart. Check how it came for Nehemiah. 
It came through somebody giving him an information. Before that person gave him, Hananiah, his brother, came from Jerusalem, chapter one, and said, told, to, he told him, this is what's going on there. And when he got this information, he started to pray. As he prayed, something formed in his heart. But remember, when he got the information, it disturbed him. Whatever disturbs you is a sign of what God has called you to do. I don't like to do anything that, you know, that is not coming from my heart. I, I don't, if you need it, that is when Jean Paul calls you. That's when you say, ah, who are the messen a kute de moi? Je dois donner un rapport. Hmm? Si Solema can't want a demand, qu'est-ce que vous faites là-bas? I don't know, maybe Canada. I use Canada because I heard somebody say Canada, you know? Ou bien au Togo, wherever you are. Hein? Comment ça va chez vous là-bas, frère, au Bénin? And then you start moving. Then something is wrong. You have to ask, what has God put in my heart to do? Every pioneer work for God starts from there. You see, when this man got the information, he became disturbed. Let me tell you my story about Togo. So how did I end up in Togo? As I met Jean Paul and many, many people, Togo is part of my heart is in Togo. How did I end up in Togo? I was not planning to go to Togo. I didn't even know about Togo. So when I was, all my plans was to go to somewhere else. Then one day they called me, I was in a meeting somewhere uh, with my leaders and they said, hey, we, there's a need in Togo. Ah, uh, you know, there's a need. We want to mobilize people to be missionaries and get something going there. And uh, we think you can be a good person to do it. And I asked them, I said, why do you think I can be? A I don't even speak French. I don't, you know, why? I don't even know where Togo is. So, okay, in my mind, you know, everybody hears about Yadema, but I didn't know too much about Togo. So I had to even go and check, <laughs> check the map to see, okay, where is Togo? Okay, 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 this is Togo. Because Togo was small, you don't talk too much about Togo. But it was somebody that told me. So maybe now Jean Paul or somebody else has come to you and say, hey, Fred, vous êtes au Burkina Faso. Vous pouvez commencer quelque chose là-bas. Sometimes that's how the work starts. But it didn't stop there. It, for Nehemiah, when he had that information, something moved in his heart. It's important that something moves in your heart. Something, you know, at me, when I first heard that, it didn't move me. But I went to pray. I said, Lord, this is what they've said. And as I started to pray, I started to feel, you know, maybe I should visit this place. It, was, it hadn't moved so much for me then. So to be very honest with you, even when I was praying for Togo in the beginning, there wasn't much. But a, a thought came to me, why don't you go and visit the place and see? My first visit to Togo, oh my God. As I got to Lome, they were doing a program in Tamdu Kave, somewhere in Asigame. I went in, I sat down, and I looked around, and my heart started to move me. It started to move me. And I started to pray. So the same thing for Nehemiah here. Something happened to him. His heart was moved. What has God put into your heart to do where you are? That's the first question. I want you to ask yourself that question and try to answer it. Please, it's important. Because you see, when you answer this question, the other questions I try to ask myself at these first stages, before I even start, I say, what picture do I see? What picture do I have? What do I want to see happen? What do I want to see happen? Uh, what, what, for example, I told you we start we, we, we had this thing of, we started something on TV. So the thought I had in my, I felt as I prayed on it was, let's start a talk show, a weekly talk show that can catalyze believers across Africa to be salt and light. Remember, I have not started at all. But if you don't know what God has put in your heart, you can't do anything. This is always so important to me. I remember that I would take a pen for all the seasons of my life, whether Togo, whether planting churches in the Indian Ocean, Comoros and other places, whether starting this TV thing we just started now, I will write down and say, what has God put in my heart? What do I see? What am I seeing before me? I remember writing down after this visit to Togo, I said, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to start beachhead among the unevangelized people. Savidi, commencer des regroupements, trouver des croyants parmi le peuple non atteint, 
au Togo, surtout au nord de Togo, en collaboration avec les chrétiens. J'avais écrit ça. J'avais écrit ça. Si je cherche, je, je pense que je peux toujours trouver là où j'ai écrit ça. C'était l'année, uh, I think it was 97 or 98. J'avais écrit ça. Hein? 98. Hmm? And when you know what God has put in your heart, it's so important. And when I put those things, then I start to pray even more. Now, I want to explain something to you about prayer. And Nehemiah is a good example of it. The whole of chapter one was prayer. You can't do a work of God, whether it is association de medicine, whether it is uh, trouver the missionnaire, whether it is commencing uh, an emission sur la television partout dans le continent d'Afrique, Afrique, whether it is commencing a call de formation, whatever it is, without backing it up with prayer. I tell you, when you when even if you don't know what you're supposed to do let's say now they put you in canada and they say commence quelque chose là-bas if you can give yourself like once a week or twice a week to spend time to pray about it that's what i normally do i put in my prayer thing i say chaque lundi ou bien chaque chaque deux fois chaque semaine je vais prier sur ça je vous donne un exemple uh, to the sweet uh, i hope you are following me i'm sorry if some things are not clear Jean-Paul, is it ça passe? Ça passe très bien, it's so clear. Okay. <laughs> Everything is clear. Clear yeah. radio. Yeah. I'm trying to make this thing as practical as possible. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, Thank vous you. voyez, juste quelques jours passés, j'étais en train de prier parce que j'ai mon, j'ai mon liste de prières. Chaque jour, j'ai des listes de choses qu'il faut prier, pour lesquelles il faut prier. Uh, et puis, il y avait une vision, cette vision de télévision, tout ça, là, quand c'est commencé, il y avait d'autres côtés de ça que je ne, sa, sa, je, ne, je ne savais pas comment ça peut matérialiser. Surtout avoir un centre comme studio, comme, euh, comme on appelle ça, un campus, en anglais, de campus, campus, là où on va former les gens sous plusieurs choses et puis avoir des, des what's it called, centres de... de to, to film, to film things like things you see on TV and all that, and big camera and all that. That means a big land, that means uh, buildings and all that. J'avais ça, c'est venu. Quand les choses sont commencées, c'est venu dans mon tête. J'ai commencé à prier. J'ai dit, je ne sais pas comment ça va se matérialiser, mais je connais par la principe de Dieu. Ce qu'il faut faire, c'est quand tu sais ce qu'il faut faire, ou bien quand tu penses même, ce n'est pas tout formé, Il faut décrire ça bien et pas tourner ça à un sujet de prière régulièrement. So I was looking at it this week. I'm telling you, not even knowing that Jean Paul will ask me to be here. And I saw where I wrote there uh, to have a studio for this recording films and training people. Vous savez que juste quelques un mois, juste dans la dernière huit semaines, nous avons commencé un centre. Je n'ai pas le temps de vous donner des témoignages de ça parce que c'est quelque chose qui est bien grand. On a commencé un centre maintenant là où on va loger des centaines de gens, filmer des choses. J'étais là-bas aujourd'hui, la construction continue, les grandes constructions. Mais c'est commencé comment? Je ne savais pas même comment ça va se réaliser. Tout ce que je sais, c'est ce principe. Écris ça et prier sur ça. Chaque semaine, chaque semaine. Je vous demande de ne jouer pas pour ça. Si tu es un vrai chrétien, je te donne une clé, grand clé pour pionnier. Écrivez ce que tu comprends et priez sur ça régulièrement. La prière n'est, euh, en anglais, il gives back to choses. Il gives back to things. On peut dire ça fait naître des choses. And that's what happened in the case of Nehemiah. He prayed. It was when he was praying that even the plan became more. This is what I always notice, my friends. That, so I start by saying, what has God put in my heart to do? It might even be small, a small seed, small seed, an idea. It might even be, oh, like the, the case of going to Togo. Somebody told me, you people should go to Togo. It might just be that. Maybe Jean-Paul told you, start an association in, uh, in Bene or start something in Canada. I start praying on it. As I pray on it, the 
understanding grows. Ça devient plus clair, plus clair. And I write. I write. As I write, I pray. Now, I want to explain something to you. You see, we serve a big God. We serve a big God. And if what God has given you to do does not drive you to your knees, ça ne te fait pas prier. Maybe it's not God. If the assignment you have is so little that tu peux même faire ça sans ouvrir tes yeux, hmm? tu sais, Dieu ne pense pas que c'est Dieu. Quand c'est Dieu, Dieu va te donner quelque chose qui est plus que toi. De sorte que tu, es, tu serais forcé, obligé de dépendre sur Dieu. Ça va te pousser à prier. Mais ce qui se passe souvent, c'est que les gens ne comprennent pas que la prière est si forte pour une vision chrétienne. Et ça, I can't explain it. It's just like what I told you that I saw in the notes just a few days ago. Que voilà ce que j'ai pour lequel j'ai prié pour peut-être deux ans ou trois ans. Ça, ça commence à matérialiser maintenant. Comment? How did it come about? But prayer is so powerful. And when you pray, the vision becomes clearer. The thing you are supposed to do becomes clearer. Look at Nehemiah. You see Nehemiah, when Nehemiah was praying, before he started praying, I don't think he had the plan of going to the king. But if you see at the end of his prayer, uh, if you look at that chapter one very well, hmm? you look at the end of Nehemiah's prayer, you will notice something. Nehemiah's, the last prayer point he did there was to say, and Lord, today, give favor to your servant. If you look at that place, it says uh, verse uh, 11. If you are in verse uh, 11, it says, Lord, let your ear be attentive to the prayer of this, your servant. That's himself. And to the prayer of your servants, everybody else, who delight in revering your name. Then he says this, listen, give your servants, that's Nehemiah, success today. That's the present, by granting him favor in the presence of this man. Who is this man? The king. Because he says there, I was a cup bearer to the king. Can you see how prayer has made the thing clearer? Already he had a plan now. <laughs> he had a plan. He, they didn't tell us everything here, but you could see that already he's looking you see it in chapter two. You see it already in chapter two, how it comes out. Because there, he's telling the king, we need this, we need this. He must have made a plan. But during that time of prayer, of fasting, hmm, something became clearer and clearer and clearer. And he started to, he started to, I can imagine he was like me. And that's the way I used to do it. Start to judge some things that, okay, you know, we can do this. We can do that. Don't be afraid to jot down ideas. Don't be afraid. I'm telling you. You are serving God. Some ideas look foolish. Hmm? But if you are praying, that's why I say start with prayer. When you are praying, don't be afraid of your thoughts. If you say, Pastor, comment je peux savoir si c'est moi, je ne sais pas. Parfois, mais moi, je ne sais pas si c'est moi ou bien si c'est Dieu. Hmm? Mais crois en Dieu. Si ton cœur est pur, hein? if you really want to please God, don't be afraid of writing down the ideas you have. Hmm? N'aie pas peur. Hmm? Write it down. Hmm? Those ideas now will even become another prayer point. Because you see how he's saying, he's having the idea that oh, we need to build this wall. How do we build this wall? We need this and this. Ah, maybe I need to ask this king to help me. Oh, Lord, give me favor before this king. You see how, how the burden in the heart, it mixes with prayer. And prayer brings out plan. And the plan meets with more prayer. And the thing is growing. The thing is growing. I'm telling you. The servant of God, and listen to me, every one of you, Hamidu, Nina, Aronet, you are all servants of God. Ba Ali, you are all servants of God. You are all. Vous êtes tous les serviteurs de Dieu, comme Naomi. Il n'était pas en plein temps. Il était juste un, comme vous dites, employant de, de, de roi. Hmm? Juste comme vous, vous êtes médecin d'un un établissement ou bien, je ne sais pas. C'est qui vous êtes? Quelqu'un dit qu'il est étudiant. N'importe. Demandez à Jean-Paul, c'est ce que je les ai enseigné des années passées. N'importe là où vous êtes, vous êtes serviteur de Dieu. Et parce que tu es serviteur de Dieu, toutes les ressources du ciel sont derrière toi. N'aie pas peur d'écrire tes idées. N'aie pas peur de penser grand, de dire Dieu peut faire ça aussi. Et si je fais une erreur, ce n'est pas un problème. Demain, nous allons parler des obstacles. Tomorrow, we'll talk about the obstacles, the échecs. Mais apprends ça. N'aie pas peur 
décris des idées qui viennent dans ta tête lorsque tu es en train de réfléchir et prier sur cette, euh, 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 comment dire, euh, cette euh, vision, bien, qu'on qu qu appelle assignment en, en français. Assignment, c'est quoi? Uh, assignment. Uh, Ce que tu dois faire, assignment. Uh, uh, what to do? Ce projet ou ce, cet objectif ou ce but. Ton droit. Ok, oublié. I don't want to be distracted. Assignment, ça veut dire ce, que, ce qui est entre tes mains à faire, what you are supposed to do. Don't mission. be. Mission. Hein? Mm. Ta mission, oui, c'est ça, la mission. Mm. Oui. Voilà. Ta mission. Don't mm. be afraid to write down the ideas. I want to challenge us. You know, I'm going to stop at a point and tell you to answer some of these questions. I'm telling you, it helps me. I will stop because I have three more points or so to cover, but I don't want this thing to be preaching. I want it to be, I want, I want what me I wanted. This is the kind of thing I wanted 25 years ago. Somebody talking to me like this and telling me, you know, try it, pray it, you know, write it down. And it's, I want to make it simple. I don't want to talk things that are big, big things. That's why I'm telling you simple. Nehemiah is my good man in the Bible who he, all these things are in his, in that book, even tomorrow when we look at how to deal with obstacles, with Nehemiah will look at. It's very straightforward. But uh, listen to what I'm saying. Prayer, when you ask what has God put in my heart, prayer follows. But during the prayer, ideas will come. Don't be afraid to write down those ideas. Don't be afraid. In fact, some of them will look somehow, you know. Okay, let me, let me, let me give you, let me give you some let me give you an example so i anyone i'll just use anyone i'll just go up and down let me use a tv one because it's the one happening right now so 2016 i was in india preaching to pastors in india northern india and this idea came i've always had it but say veni come oh if you come and say said question the media maintenant i didn't know i didn't have the money parce que quand il s'agit de télévision, radio, tout ça là, that, it costs a lot of money, especially if you're doing it on the level of be on TBN, be on, uh, we're on TBN, we're on Fit TV, that's DSTV. We're watching all the countries on, on Sub-Saharan Africa, every country in Sub-Saharan Africa. We are watching uh, Anglophone, uh, where they use DSTV. DSTV is like Chanel, Canal, uh, also, so. The English word, the English word uses that, and you know, so to be there looks like where will you get the money? Where will you get the connection and all that? I didn't know. Hmm? But as I was praying, a thought came. Contact this lady. Hmm? And this lady, my thought was to contact her about radio. Hmm? But when I contacted her, she said, you know what? We can also talk to the people in television. Hmm? So I said, okay. Let's do it. I've always wanted to do that, you know? And from there, another thought came. I'll write it down. Some of them, I will tell you tomorrow, the door closed. But I was not afraid to write it down. As, for example, the one of, the one of, Dan uh, uh, the Le Grand Chien TBN, or whatever it's called in French, I don't know, TBN. Uh, I went to their office. I got to the stage and I went to the office. I just said, God is with me. By the time I finished talking, The guy there said, okay, we, we want to do this. Let's, let's, let's do it. And I've been, this is our third year now. From, I'm a nobody. Il n'y a pas quelqu'un qui me connaît. Mais cette conviction que n'est pas peur d'écrire l'idée que Dieu t'a donné. N'est pas peur hmm? d'écrire ça. Uh, parce que Dieu va devant toi pour ouvrir des portes. Hmm? Et tourner ses idées à la prière. Tourner ça à un plan. Parce que ce que euh, tu vois dans le cas de Néhémie, ce qu'il a demandé après la prière, je, je suis sûr qu'il a commencé à demander des choses comme euh, qu'est-ce que je dois faire maintenant? Quels sont des gens que j'ai besoin? Et qui, euh, quelles sont des choses qui sont entre mes mains? Euh, que, combien de, est-ce que j'ai besoin de l'argent? Est-ce que j'ai besoin de faveur? Et puis il a écrit tout ce qu'il a besoin. Parce que si tu regardes chapitre 2, if you look at chapter, chapter 2, when they asked him, what do you want? He, he didn't need to go anywhere. He just said a quick prayer and he started saying what he wanted. 
because he had already thought about it. Some of us are waiting for something to happen before we do something. That's not how God works. God rather will say, you that is there in Canada, uh, if you want to start this ICMDA, uh, what do you need? What does it look like? What you want to see happen? What does the end? What does the end look like? Oh, I want to see all the Christian doctors in Canada or French speaking Canada gather together and work together for the kingdom of God. You want to see them how? We want to see them, you know, edify each other. We want to see them go out for outreaches. We want. So, what do you want to see? And now, you now go and say, what do I need to see that? I normally will ask myself, I give you an example now. So for example, when we got to Togo, I reviewed Togo. Rappelez-vous que j'ai dit que le but c'est d'implanter des églises parmi les non atteintes, surtout au nord de Togo, en collaboration avec les églises. Alors, quand j'ai commencé à prier, j'ai dit, comment nous allons faire ça? Et ce qui est venu dans mon cœur, qui est clair, c'est que nous avons besoin des gens qui vont devenir missionnaires. Parce que pour atteindre tout ce groupe de non-atteints partout, les musulmans partout, il faut des gens qui vont devenir les missionnaires. Ça doit être les chrétiens. Ou bien, ça veut dire qu'il faut aller évangéliser les non-croyants pour qu'ils deviennent chrétiens et après ça, ils deviennent euh, missionnaires. Mais il y a assez de chrétiens maintenant qui sont là que nous pouvons viser. Deuxièmement, nous avons besoin des gens qui vont prier pour ces gens et aussi les gens qui vont aussi donner leurs ressources pour que ces gens-là puissent aller. Et quand j'ai ça clair dans mon tête, tu vois, toutes les trois choses que j'ai besoin, c'est quoi? C'est des gens. Si tu résumes tout, c'est des gens. Souvent, ce n'est pas l'argent que nous avons besoin, c'est des gens. Est-ce que c'est clair? Often, it is not money we need, it is people. Hmm? Does that make sense? It's not money we need, it's people. Whenever God gives us something to do, the biggest thing we need is people. Les gens qui vont venir autour de nous. Just comme David, quand Dieu l'a donné le, le tâche de devenir, d'aller de comme avoir des gens qui vont aller combattre, il y avait un groupe de gens qui ont venu autour de lui. Et c'est avec ces gens-là qu'il a travaillé. Toi au Canada, toi au Bénin, ton grand besoin n'est pas l'argent, n'est pas, c'est les gens. You, are, you need people. And that's what I realized. And so if, for me, I said to myself, I said, okay, so the people I need, where are they? I said the people are in the churches. So I need, I need to become friends with churches, with pastors. It's same thing with you. So you need doctors to come to the together. We are the doctors in Canada that are Christians. They're in churches. We are the doctors in uh, Bene that are, that are Christians. They're in churches. So what is clear is that you need, you need churches, you need people who are in churches. And that already begins to help you to know how to pray. So I start to pray, Lord, give me favor with pastors. Give me favor with pastors. Nobody knew me in Togo. But I need favor with pastors. They are the gatekeepers of churches. You too, nobody, maybe the pastors don't know you where you are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter your age. I'm telling you, even if you're 25 or 30 or whatever, forget, Bible said to Jeremiah, don't say I'm a young man. What matters is, remember what I said before, God has given you a vision. He's giving you something to do. There's something he has put in your heart. As you have prayed and prayed, some things have become clear. Now, just like Nehemiah, you start to know what you need. If you summarize it, what you need is people. Where are these people? They're in churches. And so you start to pray. I started to pray for favor with pastors. I started to pray for divine connection. My friend, there's something called divine connection. There's something, are you listening to me? This is very, very, very important. Prayer is so important because when you are praying, please be noting these prayer points. I've given you so many prayer points you're supposed to be praying. Hmm? One, the last one I just said now is divine connection. Divine, you know, c'est des rendez-vous divine. Hmm? Les gens, Dieu va te connecter avec les gens. I give you a testimony. So when we got to South Africa, 
quand nous avons arrivé à Afrique du Sud, 2007, uh, nothing, zéro, on a commencé de zéro, commencé de rien, personne ne nous connaît pas, c'est un endroit bien développé, si vous êtes au Canada, c'est juste comme Canada, nous étions à Pitoria avec les Blancs, nous étions dans l'endroit des Blancs, nous avons des têtes de ciblées des Noirs aussi, mais comment rentrer dans l'église des Noirs, rentrer dans l'église des Blancs, nous sommes des Nigériens, souvent il y a xénophobie, et si tu regardes à, à, aux yeux naturels, tu ne peux pas travailler avec Dieu. Mais si tu appliques tout ce que j'ai dit jusqu'au maintenant, tu vas voir que les choses vont commencer à venir ensemble. Parce que c'est la même chose que nous avons fait. Qu'est-ce que nous avons... Qu'est-ce que Dieu a mis dans notre cœur à faire ici en Afrique du Sud? Et puis, le peu que nous connaissons, the little we knew, because it grows as you pray, we wrote it down. And we started to pray. We started to pray. As we pray, we say, this is the plan. Nous allons commencer à faire ça, faire ça. Certains des plans là n'ont pas marché. Mais plusieurs ont marché. But I wanted to talk about divine connection. That's why I'm bringing this story. I remember we got to uh, Pretoria. I remember the time we went to buy uh, bed. We were buying, so it was huge. everything from scratch. You have to buy bed, chairs, rent a house, put everything inside. We went to buy bed and chairs somewhere. And then, because I didn't understand the culture very well, there's a way I spoke, you know, there's a way we, Nigerians and sometimes, especially Nigerians, we are aggressive, you know, like, hey, rah, rah. and then the white guy, they're very cool and calm, you know, and so the white guy felt it was rude. Hmm? You, you are too aggressive, you know, and he was not happy. It was a small exchange, put it three minutes like that, but some have fed the mal. I said, hey, God, can I survive here? Est-ce que... <laughs> J'aurais la possibilité de. Est-ce que ça serait possible de connecter avec les gens ici? <laughs> tu m'as mis dans un endroit difficile. <laughs> I am not. I am so opposite. C'est comme. Je suis complètement op, différent. Hmm? And it's like. <laughs> ce qui a marché avant ne peut pas marcher ici. Le diable. I will tell you this tomorrow when we talk about opposition. Personne. The biggest opposition is in your mind. Tomorrow we'll talk about opposition. The biggest one is in your mind. That thing that says, no, ça ne peut pas marcher ici. Peut-être c'est marcher au Togo, mais pas ici. Vous ne connaissez pas Benin. Ah, Cotonou est différent. Ah, Toronto is different. Where is the place? What's that uh, place in uh, Canada? The French place in Canada. Montreal. Montreal. Montreal est différent. Hmm? Ou bien, I don't know where you Quebec. are, you know? Mm. Mm? Quebec. Quebec mm. est différent. Ou bien, you know? There's always that thought. And that was the thought coming to my mind. But it's not true. This principle works everywhere. There was not, you see the king Nehemiah was on that was even more ungodly than our world today. They were really satanic, the ones that Nehemiah was on that. But God controls that place. Just like he controls wherever you are. You have been placed where you are, whether it is uh, Njamen or it is uh, Kotonu, or is uh, Ouagadougou, or is uh, Abidjan, it doesn't matter. Whether it's Quebec or wherever, God controls it. In fact, he owns the place. So when I faced this situation, I was say, hey, God, am I in the wrong place? And I remembered, I remembered, no, God sent me here. God put something in my heart, I'm going to trust God. So where is, I started praying for divine connection and I can tell you many, 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 many stories of divine connection. Let me give you one. One day we were in a store, another store, hmm? and then uh, there was uh, on était on était parti pour acheter des choses dans un grand magasin. Et puis il y avait un, un blanc comme ça, very tall, hmm? very tall. Et puis and I wanted to and I wanted to take something from the shelf, you know, like a shelf where they display things on top. Et if you don't know me, I'm short. I'm a short man. Je ne suis pas. Je suis court. Court. Je ne suis pas. Lancé comme, je pense que Jean-Paul est bien, bien lancé plus que moi. Hmm? But the place was even higher than Jean-Paul, you know, up, up. So I saw this man that was tall, a white man. I said, hey, can you help me, Longhi, to help me get that thing? And I used the word like tolly, tolly, and I'm learning the tall for long, uh, tolly. So it was a joke. Then I thought, oh, these white people, maybe this will offend him. So I said, I'm sorry, I called you tolly. Please, you can call me shorty. 
you know, and I tried to make it so that because I'm not careful. So the guy says, all right, all right. Then I noticed that I noticed that his, uh, his wife was black. So I just said a few things and I said, how are you, this and that. He was replying. Then he now said he's a pastor. I said, eh, okay. You know, remember I'm looking for pastors. <laughs> I said, okay, pastor, okay, okay, which church? He said, Methodist church. Eh, le, you know, when it's Methodist like that, it's some plus fermé même que d'autres. He's like, Methodist church. I said, hey, you know, I'm, I am this, this, this. He was answering me as if he's not there, ready to leave me. He was, okay, 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 okay. So I tried to ask him, I said, uh, can you please give me your phone number so that I can phone you later? He said, no, 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 no. I won't give you my phone number, but I can give you my email address. And I know, you know, if you give people your email address, you can easily ignore the thing in those days, that phone number, phone number will come direct to you. So I know why he was giving me the email address is to say, rest chez toi là-bas. Hmm? And so I took the email address. I said, ah, quand même. And I will still write the email. Hmm? But before I left, to explain to you divine connection, before I left, I noticed that the son of this man was struggling with the mother about a magazine like comic, like you know, Spider-Man, you know, all these comics, Spider-Man, Superman comic. And the mother was saying, no, 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 pas aujourd'hui, pas aujourd'hui, pas aujourd'hui, not today. And I went, I said, hey, uh, if you guys don't mind, I would like to buy this for, for this uh, uh boy now remember the reason why this man was keeping away from me is immediately i said i'm a nigerian his face changed when we were talking he just said hey, okay okay i said give me your phone he said no take my email he told me later some later when we became friends say ah je me fie de nigerian je me he says he paid the van man where you are together <laughs> they will sell you so he was trying to keep away from me so when I now said, can I buy this? I went to him, he said, okay. Then he now turned to me, he said, a Nigerian that is giving instead of receiving. I didn't do that thing to impress him. I just did it as normal. But he was, I didn't know how that, that thing could be used by God to touch him. That's why I will tell you right after telling you the story that the biggest thing you need is people and the way to get people is by touching people. And I will explain that later now. But do you know that day, this thing I bought for him was so small, it's not much, but it's not that the man didn't have the money, but he was touched by, voila Nigerian kid done, olio de pram, c'est tout, in his mind. He said, oh, we need to meet, let's meet for coffee, coffee. Do you know that me and this man became friends? Our families met together. He opened his church, his church became, in fact, they got to a stage, they assigned people to represent the church in Capro. Hmm? They will bring out money. It, it, I will go to the church, I'll be on the pulpit, white church, white people's church. How did it happen? Divine connection. Go, and this is the time we're just getting there, buying things, buy chair, buy. God has prepared a place for you. Pray for divine connection. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, 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 let me explain something to you. If people are the ones we need the most, if people are the ones we need the most, then we need to focus on blessing people. Please listen to me. If you want to build anything, you need people. And what you need to do is bless people. Let's say now I'm you, I might find myself in Quebec or wherever, or Abidjan. I'm going to say my greatest need is to get into the churches and get Christians who are doctors and medicine and dentists. And I'll say, look, maybe I need to get into fraternal of pastors. Maybe I need to go and introduce myself to pastors, uh, whatever God put in my mind to do. But I will focus not just to go to those pastors to say, Pramwa, let's more very announce a shows and what to be eglise. I'll be thinking in my mind, how do I bless this pastor? How do I bless this pastor? I would think about doctors. If you will meet some doctors, they will not be interested in what you are doing. But if you focus on how can I bless this Christian doctor I'm seeing? In fact, I'm telling you, do you know that some of you, you are working in hospital, you are not blessing people there, even unbelievers. You need to focus on blessing them. Some of them will become Christian because of you and some of them will be the first members of this association you're talking about. 
Some people in Togo, I led them to Jesus. They became part of this thing we are doing. Uh, Jean Paul, you remember Gaben? Mm -hmm. we, some people, we led them. They were unbeliever. We lead them to Christ. Mm -hmm. They become a member of what you are doing. So the focus you must have is not, is you need people. And the only way to get people is by blessing people. You bless people by be, open your eyes. Don't be so caught up with your own needs. When I got to Togo, I didn't have anything. I used to walk from Opital to uh, Bear. Opital to Bear is very far. I didn't have money for taxi. No, it's true. Because people don't understand what it means to pioneer. The days of pioneering, sometimes you don't have anything. You don't have time. You don't have money. You don't have people. You, you know, some of you, you don't even have the time. You are busy. Some of you, you don't have anybody. Some of you, you don't have the money. But that is not the reason to just stay down. You must know that you are a blessing. Why are you a blessing? If you're a Christian, you have the spirit of God in you. If you have the spirit of God in you, he has put some gifts in you. Either they are done. A Christian must know his gifts hmm? and use it to bless people. Some of you, you have a gift. You have gifts you are not using. Stir up those gifts. Some of you, maybe the gift is the ability to say a word of encouragement to people. To just say, hey, sava ale. Hmm? And that can be a powerful gift. Your gift, some of you, you know how to cook and help people when you know, just give them extra dish. Just bless people. Bless people. Hmm? I told you just now, what I did was just buy a comic book for a child and that opened the whole door. What did I spend? Maybe I spent, I don't know. I don't know how to convert it. It's maybe one dollar. If you think of one dollar, that converted it to open a door of a church that they are sending thousands of dollars. You just think of it. Mm -hmm. it what you, the little thing, if you just set your mind to be a blessing, if you don't learn anything tonight, try and think of all this principle I'm teaching you and think of this, that you need people. And the way to get people is to say, I'm going to bless people. I want to pause here. I have two more things to say, but I want to pause. And I want you to, either on your phone on a piece of paper, I want you to try and answer this question for me before we go on. You're going to answer this question for me. And this question is, what has God put in your heart to do there concerning this ICMDDA thing? What has God put in your heart to do? Hmm? What, what do you see? What can be done? What can be done? What picture do you have? I want you to just write it down. Write it in a way that you can understand. Just take a pen or your phone. Please make sure you're writing. Esco tout le monde comprend ce que j'ai demandé. Esco le frère Bada a lipé écrit ça dans les commentaires ici. Esco tu peux écrire ce que j'ai demandé. Il a déjà écrit. C'est déjà écrit. Qu'est-ce que le Seigneur a mis à, à, dans mon cœur de faire pour, euh, dans cette association? Oui, yes, dans mon, là où je suis. Hmm? I want you to write it down, please. Write it in your phone. Please don't play with it. You might look so weak now. As I'm talking, you might think, oh, me, what can I do? In, where you are, what am I called to do? What is it? Please write it down. And I want the assignment I want to give you is write this thing in clear in such a way that I want to give you this assignment to pray over this at least once a week. You see, sometimes we say just get up and go and do it. Even if you have started doing it, I want you to have a day you are praying over it. Maybe some of you have even started the association, you have regrouped a few people, il y a déjà quelques activités, c'est bon. Mais je vais maintenant te défier de choisir un ou bien deux fois par jour, par semaine. You can say every Monday or every Wednesday. I want you to decide now. Écrivez ça. Write it there. Voilà mon plan d'action pour la prière. Just write that down. It's not for me. It's for you. Just write it down and say, voilà, uh, lundi et mercredi, au moins pour 10 minutes ou bien 5 minutes, je vais prier sur ce que je viens d'écrire là parce que ça, c'est ce qui a mon cœur à voir. This is what I want to see in this country concerning this association. Hmm? And uh, then you see, I, I want you to notice something. I, I'm moving on now. So I've given you two things to do. I'm moving on. Uh, when it comes to 
when it comes to doing something from scratch, it has to do a lot with people. And uh, what I've learned is that I first of all focus on blessing people. And let me be very straightforward and tell you practically how I bless people. I go around, I evangelize. Hmm? So if I see people who don't know Jesus, I share Jesus with them. If I see those who know Jesus, I encourage them in their work with the Lord. Hmm? Then I also do practical things for people. I just practically, I just, whatever I can do. Anything God gives me the chance to do. And you don't do it because, you don't do it because you want, because of your project. You do it because people are important to God. A Christian should always be blessing people. Hmm? And if you focus on what I've just said, in fact, I will go to where, if, for example, I'm you, I will go and find out Christians that are doctors. I will befriend them. I will befriend them. Even before talking about association, I'll befriend them. But beyond befriending them, listen to me. The other thing I do is I share my vision with others. So, for example, Ici, je suis toi, je vais partager ma vision pour ICMDA avec les autres médecins. Je vais partager ça. I share my vision. Because I know it, because I'm praying for it, I share my vision. I say, uh, look at what I'm thinking of doing. If you check Nehemiah, he shared his vision with others. In Nehemiah chapter 2, the Bible says, after he has gone around and looked around everywhere, he shared, he called together, the brethren, I said, this is what is in my heart. This is what God has put in my heart to do. When you share your vision with people, some will join you. Some will join you. Some might not join you. Not everybody joined Nehemiah. But you see, when you share and say, just what you know, just don't make it complex. This is what is in my heart. You share it with even pastors. If I'm you, where you are, I would go to pastors and say, hey, this is what's in my heart to do. That's why I say you have to know what is in your heart to do. This is what we want to encourage all the doctors and this thing and nurses and all that. And we want them to come together. This is something that helps them to be more effective in the society. And uh, please, can you give me two minutes to share this in your church? I will ask, I'm telling you, please, can you give me two minutes to share this in case anybody wants to talk to me after? If they won't give me the two minutes, maybe I'll say, can you let me stay outside at the door? Just tell them that they can see me outside. Anybody who is a doctor or who is a a nurse or whatever, there's somebody outside who wants, who is also a doctor or something, there's an association, he wants to talk to you for three minutes. I will do that, my friend. But before I do it, remember I'll pray about it. But not only that, I will do it. And I will not be afraid to fail. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Sometimes we fear failure. That's why we don't think big. Uh, let me give you <laughs> a story. When I was, before I became a missionary in Lagos, can you tell Lagos, you travail in Lagos? And I had a, 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 a vision. And the vision was, uh, I wanted to get churches to talk more about mission. But I was working in, I was working, I had little time. And the churches are all closed. So I thought to myself, you know what? I will go and knock on the door of churches and meet pastors. And I went to two or three. They all said, no, 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 no. So I came back home. I said, I, wasn't, I was not married. I was, I don't know, maybe 22 or 23, you know? Fool pour Jésus, fool pour Jésus. So, <laughs> so I now said something to myself. I said, until I go to the last church, that means I will go to every church. Jusqu'à la dernière. Et si je trouve non, 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 partout, mon travail est fait. Je vais pas m'arrêter jusqu'à y arriver à la dernière église à Lagos. <laughs> you, you see, I, I, I will talk about this tomorrow when I talk about how to overcome obstacle. When you become like that, the devil will be afraid of you, I'm telling you. You'll be surprised the kind of miracles that will happen with you, the kind of big things God will do with you, the like grand shows. Tu es prêt de affronter les chèques. Ça ne te fait pas peur. Tu es prêt de affronter les non. Ça ne te fait pas peur. Parce que c'est... In English, he says overrated. Ça, ça fait peur pour rien. Qu'est-ce qui est non même? Qu'est-ce qui est échec même? Hmm? Hmm? Est-ce que échec peut est-ce que échec peut me tuer hmm? quand Jésus est avec moi? Est-ce que le non peut me tuer quand Jésus est avec moi? Que tous les non viennent. Jésus dit oui. Hmm? 
you follow me. I hope you are, you are getting something here. And you know, I started going and before I've gone even up to four churches, then Pastor, do we view, 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 on the first I see, share your vision with others. Share your vision with others. And you will find some people that God has already given this thing to join you. In fact, there are people waiting there in Quebec, in Cotonou, who they just need to hear from you. They need to hear from you. You need people. They need to hear from you. Just because you shared with 10 people and they said no, there is still 100 people waiting to say yes to you. You'll be surprised. And so you need people. So you need to share this thing with people. So I've talked about people. I say you need people. But to get people, you need to bless people. Use your gift to bless people. Hmm? But I said not only bless people, share your vision with people. And <laughs> you know, when you get people and you already have some plan of what to do, you start small with what you have. You start, you know, for me, when I got a few people, I just said, oh, hey, so this is, this is the few people I have. What do I need to do? I need to train them now. So I started, which program do we need to do with them? We started with the first few people. I said, you know what I did with my first few people? Let me give you one nice thing you need to do with them. If you get a few people, maybe you are somewhere now, you have five people, you have three people. Join them to be praying with you in that vision you've been praying for. Are you following me? That is the most powerful thing you can do. Prayer is like an incubator. Qu'est-ce qu'on appelle incubator en français? Incubator, like where you put the little, little chicken, little, little egg. And it, Incub what is Inc Incubator. Incubator. Prayer is an incubator. Incubator. So... If you get even one person or two people, bring them into your prayer thing to be praying for the vision. If it's once a week, even if it's 30 minutes, even if it's 15 minutes, even if it's by Zoom, even if it's with Zoom or with uh, WhatsApp, say, look, même si vous ne, vous ne savez pas comment, quel, commence, quel programme ou bien quelle activité il faut commencer avec, je te donne une idée maintenant pour faire un travail pionnier. Commencer un regroupement avec les deux personnes que tu as pour prier pour cette vision de ICMDA. Tu serais surpris ce qui va se passer. Hmm? But if God has also given you other things to do, just start with what you have. You'll be surprised. Look, the work of God is backed by God. And when that happens, the plan will start to come. And, you know, uh, Jean Paul will tell you that in Togo we did big program coming, but before then we did small programs. Those are for fed petty petty shows. On a regroupé des jeunes, les ne pas peur, commencer surtout la prière, la prière. Pour dire, nous allons regrouper pour prier pour tous les médecins ici au Canada ou bien au Bénin. Nous allons nous regrouper pour prier. And you will be the same thing. Remember, if you have not been doing it, it will be difficult to do it with, if you've not been doing it alone, it will be difficult to do it with two people. Hmm? And it will not be authentic. It, you, it won't be authentic. It won't be real. That's why you yourself, you have been doing it. So when you bring them, you're bringing them into an incubator. And as you're, somebody says, can we not do this? Huh? What, what about this? Before you know it, it's going somewhere. I, I hope you're getting something from here. Hmm? I hope you're getting it. Okay, let me say one last thing, then I will stop. Uh, uh, I've talked about making a plan. I said, even as you are praying, make a plan. Write down, just write down ideas. Don't, and when you have one or two people, even yourself, do the ideas. The last thing I want to say is in Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. And I want to talk about, I want to just say something to you. Be ready to sacrifice to pay the price. You can't talk about pioneer. Pioneer, the type we're talking about, the type that is for the kingdom. The type de travail pioneer dans nos parlons. Nous ne pouvons pas parler de ça sans parler de un esprit de sacrifice. In Matthew 13, 44, it says, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. Wow. Uh, I love this scripture so much. You will, some people have heard me preach on this before, but I can take four days to preach on this verse. But let me just bring out something for you here. It says, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden. You see, whatever work God has called you to do, when he's called you to do something, it's like a hidden treasure. 
today, you know, today now this thing we are doing here, or whatever we have done before, it has grown into something, say, say Devine Grand. But before then, it will be nothing, it will be hidden. So the kingdom of God always starts with something hidden. Ce n'est pas apparent. Si tu regardes là où tu es, si on parle de ce que peut-être ICMD est fait dans une autre, une autre droit, peut-être chez toi tu vas dire, ce n'est pas apparent que ça peut arriver ici. Mais il est un trésor caché. But look at how that treasure came out. La manifesta manifestation de la grange, les grandes choses que Dieu veut faire. On dit, c'est arrivé comment? A man found out that there was something hidden there. He covered it up. Then, in his joy, he went and he sold everything he had so that he can possess that field. Il y a quelqu'un qui a vu ce qui est caché. C'est pourquoi j'ai commencé avec la question, qu'est-ce que Dieu a mis dans ton cœur? Qu'est-ce que tu vois? C'est la question. Première chose que j'ai demandé pour bâtir une vision, c'est qu'est-ce que tu as, qu what do you see? Qu'est-ce que Dieu a mis dans ton cœur? Now, this man, he saw, if you don't see any treasure in this vision we're talking about, we're gathered here. When we finish this program, he said, no, monsieur, là, il est trop parlé, mais <laughs> vraiment, qu'est-ce que c'est AIC, ECMD, you know, and you just go out, because you don't see. And I tell you, there's no need to be coming for this program if you don't see. But if you see a treasure, it's not enough because you can see it and just say, hey, it has the potentiality, it's possible. And then you don't do anything. C'est le commencement, il faut voir. Mais deuxièmement, il a fait quelque chose. La Bible dit qu'il est parti, il a vendu tout ce qu'il a. He sold everything that he had. That means il était prêt de faire n'importe ce qu'il faut pour accomplir, pour faire sortir de cette trésor. C'est le même esprit que nous avons besoin. The, 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 the spirit of sacrifice, the willingness to do whatever, to bring out what you are seeing is inside there. Je vous dis, mon frère, mes, mes frères, mes soeurs, il y a des choses cachées que Dieu veut faire. Les trésors cachés qui veut faire manifester dans le milieu des docteurs, des médecins, les these personnels that you people want to touch. Il y a des grandes choses qu'il veut faire dans ta ville, dans ton pays. Il y a des choses, maintenant c'est caché. Mais il te faut voir ça. Si je suis toi-même, je vais prier pour moi-même, dis en disant, Seigneur, ouvre mes yeux pour voir des trésors cachés, de voir ce que tu veux faire même. Hmm? Premièrement. Deuxièmement, aide-moi, Seigneur, de faire la sacrifice, les sacrifices qu'il faut. I tell you there's a need for sacrifice. The kingdom of God advances based on sacrifice. Some of us, we live in an age, we live in an age where many times we are used to comfort. We, our system nice comfort. Uh, what is there for me? What is there for me? That's the question. I don't know how to say it in French, but qu'est-ce qu'on va me donner? You know, that kind of thing. And that mentality is not the mentality of the kingdom of God. Bible says, if anyone will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me daily. Wow. It's, it's not even because of ICMDA. If you want to build with God, if you want to, if you really are born again and you want to build with God, si tu es sous cette terre, tu ne veux pas, comment dire, waste. What's waste now? Gate, hmm? ta vie, you know? You can say ça pour n'importe quoi. Gaspillé. Gaspillé, c'est le mot. Gaspillé, gaspillé. Et si tu es comme moi et tu ne veux pas gaspiller ta vie parce que tu sais que j'ai une seule vie, ça va bientôt finir. Voilà moi qui j'étais 23 hier. Je suis 53, euh, 53 aujourd'hui. Le temps est passé comme ça. Hmm? Si tu ne veux pas gaspiller ta vie et tu dis, je vais utiliser ma vie pour faire sortir des trésors cachés, manifeste, faire manifester des choses que le, le ciel veut faire sur cette terre. Ah, il te faut être prêt de payer le prix. Il te faut être prêt de payer le prix. Si tu veux accomplir la mission de Dieu dans la vie là où tu es, à travers cette association de euh, médecins, il te faut être prêt de payer le prix. 
il te fait être prêt d'avoir des mentalités de ce, ce l'homme, l'homme qui est dans Matthieu 13, 44. On dit qu'il est parti, il est vendu tout. Il était prêt de faire tout pour voir que la, 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 la vision de Dieu est accomplie. C'est là où je vais m'arrêter ce soir. Et la question est, est quoi? Est-ce que tu es prêt aussi de dire à Dieu, Seigneur, moi voici, utilise-moi. Utilise-moi. J'ai une seule vie. Bientôt, ça va finir. Je ne vais pas gaspiller mon vie. Je vais accomplir la mission du ciel à travers moi dans mon pays, dans, mon, dans ce monde. Je vais vous inviter maintenant à prier un peu avec moi. Juste quelques minutes. Là où vous êtes, commencez à prier pour toi-même. Et priez dans ce sens. Dis à Dieu, j'ai une seule vie. J'ai une seule vie. Je ne veux pas gaspiller ma vie. Il y a des choses cachées que tu veux faire manifester sur cette terre à travers moi, à travers moi. Et je me suis donné à toi maintenant. Utilise-moi, Seigneur. Je suis prêt à payer le prix. Je veux que tu pries dans ce sens. Dis au Seigneur, cette opportunité de travailler avec les médecins, travailler avec cette association, c'est une opportunité. Moi, voici, Seigneur. Utilise-moi. Fais sortir, fais, fais manifester des choses cachées, les trésors cachés que toi-même tu veux faire sortir pour bénir le monde. Utilise-moi, Seigneur. Et je suis prêt de payer le prix pour faire ça. Utilise-moi, Seigneur. Commencez à prier pour toi-même. Tu peux même prier. Ouvre mes yeux, Seigneur. Ouvre mes yeux pour voir des choses cachées afin que je sois prêt de payer le prix. Parce que la Bible dit que le monsieur a vu ce qui est caché. Dieu nous donne la capacité même de voir. C'est ce qu'on appelle vision. La possibilité de voir des choses cachées avant que ça soit manifesté. Ce n'est qu'après que les gens vont voir ça. Les gens vont dire, voilà les grandes choses que Dieu est en train de faire à Cotonou. Voilà les grandes choses que Dieu est en train de faire à Québec. Oh, toi, tu as déjà vu ça avant, avant que ça soit manifesté. Il faut prier, prier pour toi-même, prier. Seigneur, aide-moi, 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 utilise-moi. Je ne peux pas gaspiller ma vie, utilise-moi. Je ne peux pas gaspiller ma vie, utilise-moi pour des grandes choses dans ma génération. Au nom de Jésus, nous avons prié. Uh, uh, mon temps est passé. Jean-Paul, merci beaucoup. Je m'arrête ici. On se voit demain. Merci, frère. Merci, soeur, les soeurs. Merci pour votre attention. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for giving me your attention. I hope you have gotten something from it. Over to you, yeah. Paul. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, so much, Daddy. I thank you. You really bless us. We, 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 we want to pray, continue to pray all the night. Somebody writes, I want to pray all the night because... Please let them pray, let uh, them pray. Uh, they don't have to stop. Let them pray. <laughs> let them pray because I just stopped yeah. because my time is up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, so uh, uh, we, we, we take maybe five minutes. Let, let's pray on encore for cinq minutes. Uh, 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 Ensemble, tu peux encore prier. Il y a un projet sur ton cœur. Il y a quelque chose que Dieu a mis. Tu es en train de voir quelque chose. Il y a un trésor. Euh, il y a un trésor. Au Tchad, il y a, il y a quelque chose. Tu, Dieu te met à cœur quelque chose au Tchad. Dieu te met quelque chose en Centrafrique. Cette Centrafrique-là qui souffre. Et, et, et on dit, euh, on, ils, on semble dire que euh, euh, c'est comme c'est le chaos, mais Dieu te met quelque chose à cœur. Quelque chose euh, de. de de, carrément eh, incroyable, incroyable. Et, et, et peut-être au Togo, Dieu te met quelque chose à, à cœur. Dieu te met quelque chose à cœur. Du Togo pour aller ailleurs. Euh, euh, je ne sais pas, au Cameroun, Dieu, Dieu te met quelque chose à, à, à cœur. Euh, Dieu, Dieu est à l'œuvre. Dieu est à l'œuvre. 
et, 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 et Dieu nous demande de prier pour ces choses, de croire. Et lui va créer des conditions divines, il va créer des situations, il va apporter des ressources. Seigneur, tu es capable, tu es capable, tu es capable. Merci Seigneur, merci pour chaque pays ici. Merci pour ce que tu mets sur mon cœur. Merci pour ce que tu mets dans mon, dans mon cœur pour mon pays, pour l'Afrique francophone. Merci, Seigneur, ce que tu mets dans mon cœur pour la SMDA. Seigneur, ces choses que j'entends, ces choses que je vois, Seigneur, ces trésors cachés, Seigneur, que, que, que je découvre dans la prière. Je veux croire en ces choses et je veux m'investir dans la prière par rapport à ces choses. Et je veux croire en toi que tu vas amener ces choses à réalité. Seigneur, rien n'est impossible à toi. Rien n'est impossible à toi. Rien n'est impossible à toi. Seigneur, merci de continuer à travailler nos cœurs et travailler nos vies, travailler nos pensées. Seigneur, mon Dieu, mon roi, nous ne voulons pas nous laisser embobiner par les choses qui nous entourent, par les craintes, par les peurs, mais nous voulons accepter ton appel. Nous voulons répondre à ton appel. Il y a une seule vie que tu, tu me donnes. Avec cette seule vie, je vais impacter ma nation. Je vais impacter l'Afrique francophone. Je vais impacter, Seigneur, la CMD. Avec cette seule vie, je vais impacter, Seigneur. Je veux faire bouger les choses. Je veux changer les choses pour ta gloire. Seigneur, je, 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 je ressens des choses. Je vois des trésors que tu veux que je révèle, Seigneur. Je m'engage avec toi. Merci, Seigneur Jésus. Merci, Seigneur Jésus. Merci, Seigneur, de fortifier chaque pionnier ici, Seigneur, ce soir. De fortifier Abel du, de, de, de la Guinée qu'on a créée. De fortifier Nina de la Côte d'Ivoire. De fortifier Amina, Amad de, de, la, de la RDC. De fortifier Aronet au Cameroun. Seigneur, merci de fortifier Seigneur Bata au Tchad. De fortifier Charles, Ricky et Ali et, 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 et Thomas, Seigneur Togo. Fortifie-nous, Seigneur. Nous voulons être cette génération qui s'élève et qui fasse la différence. Nous voulons refuser d'être dans le confort. Nous voulons juste ne pas courir après l'argent, le matériel, les choses que tu s'offrent à nous. Mais nous voulons être une solution dans nos nations. Nous voulons être une solution dans nos pays. Nous voulons faire changer les choses, Seigneur. Donne-nous ta grâce et ta faveur. Accompagne-nous, Seigneur. Au nom de Jésus. Au nom de Jésus. Amen. Amen. Merci, frère. Je pense que nous, avons, nous, avons, nous sommes arrivés à la fin du programme ce soir et, et nous voulons vraiment dire merci au pasteur. Et demain, il sera encore là avec nous et demain, on, nous pourrons partager, nous pourrons poser des questions, nous pourrons euh, voilà, avoir du temps avec lui pour poser des questions. Et, 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 et c'est si peut-être, je vais voir avec lui, peut-être vous le dit aussi, dimanche aussi sera là avec nous. Donc, soyez là au rendez-vous demain. Demain, c'est à 8h30, nous commençons. Euh, euh, soyez là au rendez-vous. Vous avez vu comment nous avons été bénis. Invitez les autres ouais. pionniers, les autres pionniers de vos, de, de, euh, de, les autres pionniers à venir nous rejoindre demain parce que nous allons avoir un bon temps. Euh, il sera là, mais il y aura un second orateur aussi pour nous bénir. Et ne, ne ratez pas le programme de demain. Soyez tous bénis. Euh, Peut-être que je vais demander Amen. à Mubata, si tu veux, pour, pour euh, remettre euh, la nuit entre les mains du Seigneur. Ah, bon, ça, tu es là, tu peux... Je voilà. suis là. Oui. Éternel Dieu, Père de notre salut en Jésus, nous voulons te dire merci, Seigneur, pour cette conférence qui a été un projet. Et merci parce qu'aujourd'hui, Seigneur, nous démarrons effectivement cette conférence des pionniers. Et Seigneur, nous voulons bénir ton nom encore, nous voulons te dire merci. Merci, Seigneur, pour ce enseignement riche que tu viens de nous donner par l'intermédiaire de ton serviteur, Seigneur. Nous voulons que tu puisses graver, Seigneur, ces paroles sur nos cœurs. Et que, Seigneur, nous ne soyons pas des auditeurs oubliés. Mais, Seigneur, fais à ce que nous puissions, Seigneur, mettre cette parole en pratique. Que nous puissions vraiment, Seigneur, aller au bout de nos visions, Seigneur, pour nos associations respectives. Et, Seigneur, nous savons que toi, tu es là à nos côtés et tu nous aideras, Seigneur, à bien accomplir cette vision, à bien accomplir, Seigneur, ce projet. Oui, Seigneur, nous voulons te recommander, Seigneur, nos frères et sœurs qui n'ont pas pu participer, Seigneur, à cette session de ce soir. Nous voulons demander à ce que tu puisses, Seigneur, leur donner le temps afin que 
les sessions prochaines, que ces frères et sœurs puissent, Seigneur, nous rejoindre pour bénéficier, Seigneur, de ce que toi-même tu auras à nous communiquer. Nous voulons te bénir la présence de chacun. Nous voulons te demander, Seigneur, de bénir la présence de chacun de nous, Seigneur, dans cette soirée. Nous voulons aussi te recommander, Seigneur, ce orateur que tu nous as donné ce soir, afin que tu puisses encore, Seigneur, te bénir davantage pour que, à des séances prochaines encore, il puisse, Seigneur, partager la parole avec ton peuple. Oui, Seigneur, nous qui sommes tes enfants, Seigneur, le secret, Seigneur, c'est d'être en connexion avec toi. Oui, Seigneur, pour acquérir aussi la bénédiction, la sagesse, Seigneur, c'est d'avoir ta crainte. Et nous demandons à ce que tu inscrives, Seigneur, Seigneur, que tu instaures ta crainte, Seigneur, dans le cœur de chacun de nous ici. Oui, Seigneur, car si ta crainte est où dans le cœur de chacun de nous, Seigneur, nous savons que nous sommes avec toi et c'est à partir de cela, Seigneur, que la sagesse va commencer. Nous voulons te demander de bénir chacun de nous. Bénis, Seigneur, notre conférence. Bénis aussi notre soirée. Bénis notre séparation au nom de ton fils Jésus-Christ. Amen. Amen. Merci beaucoup. Euh, si vous pouvez mettre votre vidéo, on va se voir pour euh, vous dire bye-bye. On va se voir, juste nous voir avant de nous quitter. Bye-bye. Ouais. Bye-bye. Ouais, bye. salut, salut. Merci. Salut à tous. Ouais, salut Amidou. Salut Aro. Ouais. Salut Nina. Ouais. Très bien de voir. Salut, salut. Et donc, on se voit demain. À demain. Bye.